Should I take my little sharp axe? Every day I wake up, I have a song in my head, and today it was Dirty Old Town. And that's a fitting song for today because we're going to take a walk and maybe dream a dream by the old canal. But I don't think we're going to need this to test the ice. So where are we? We're in sale in Greater Manchester in the historic county of Cheshire. And at the other end of the Bridgewater Canal is a place called Salford. Now the song Dirty Old Town was written about Salford. And it's been said that the canal he sings of is the Manchester, Bolton and Barry Canal. But the Bridgewater Canal is in Salford too. And it's the older canal. So maybe he was singing about the old canal, the Bridgewater Canal. So last week I committed one of the ultimate faux pas. I called Salford Manchester. I was at the maker's market called Keyside. They actually had dancing girls. And I accidentally said I was in Manchester, but I was actually on the other side of the bridge in Salford. So as a little atonement, let me tell you a little bit about a love song written for a place. Not for a woman, but for a place called Salford. The Dirty Old Town. It was written by Jimmy Miller, better known as Ewan McCall, in the late 40s. He fancied himself a Scotsman, but he was born and raised in Salford. He wrote it to cover an awkward scene change in his 1949 play Landscape with Chimneys, set in a north of England industrial town. The first verse refers to the gasworks croft, a piece of open land adjacent to the gasworks, and then speaks of the old canal, the Manchester, Bolton and Barry Canal. But again, I point out the old canal is the Bridgewater Canal, which opened nearly 50 years before. The line in the original version about smelling a spring on the sulfured wind is sometimes sung as the sulfured wind, you know, like the chemical sulfur. That's pretty funny. <laughs> An excellent mondegree, or misheard lyric. Almost as good as the girl with colitis goes by. But most singers tend to drop the sulfured reference altogether, calling the wind smoky. McCall gave Rod Stewart, Roger Whitaker, and the Dubliners partial rights to the song in the 1960s. The gasworks wall, the old canal, the docks, they're all in there in the dirty old town of Salford. And that isn't a slight to Salford, or its people. Later the song was passed on to his daughter Kirsty. She would collaborate with the Pogues in 1987 to release one of the greatest Christmas songs of all time, Fairy Tale of New York. Her influence is probably how the Pogues ended up with the song Dirty Old Town. They play the Pogues version as Salford City Football Club walk out on the field. Dirty Old Town is like that other famous folk tune written by Woody Guthrie, This Land is Your Land. Everybody has their own version, and they claim it as their own. Even in Petty Harbor, on the east coast of Canada. Town, I heard a sigh. So this is a lovely trail on the opposite bank, I guess, on the opposite side to the tow path. We end up down here quite a bit. It's one of my favorite places to walk. And it's a crisp, sunny day here in dirty old Greater Manchester. Yeah, that would be tempting if I was a little kid, I must admit. But it's not, definitely not thick enough to even attempt. We lose people in Canada every year. People go out on the ice before it's thick enough. You need weeks and weeks 
and weeks of below zero temperatures to have ice thick enough to walk on. Six inches. You need six inches to walk or skate on. And you need your foot. 12 inches to bring a machine on. When we first moved here, or we're first moving here, one of my friends said, dirty old Manchester. Couldn't be farther from the truth, could it? I'm sure it was true one time. But then again, <laughs> what wasn't dirty old a hundred plus years ago? It was all a dirty old town a hundred years ago. Roger Whitaker is uh, the version I grew up listening to of dirty old town. And uh, if you want to giggle, look for Roger Whitaker on Top of the Pops. I think he had a big hit with, um, what was the name of that song? Uh, Last Farewell, I think. Did, you, did it have to be number one to be on Top of the Pops? Was that a number one song? I guess it was in the charts at any rate. Anyway, it's quite funny to watch the audience. They, they really don't know what to make of it. <laughs> they were probably there to, to see Slade, <laughs> and they got Roger Whitaker. You need at least a foot of ice to bring a machine on, like a snowmobile. Of course, most of us call them skidoos, even though they aren't skidoos. Well, a skidoo is a snowmobile, but a snowmobile is not necessarily a skidoo. It's like, uh, it's like you guys with Hoovers. It's a vacuum cleaner, isn't it? All Hoovers are vacuums, but not all vacuums are Hoovers. <laughs> At any rate, don't, don't go on the ice unless it's a foot thick on a snowmobile or a skidoo or ATV. Thanks for watching. From cold and sunny sail, we'll see you in the next one. So if you want to help us out with the things we do here at Wicked Acorn, check out our webpage, wickedacorn.com, and you can find yourself some Christmas cheer.